Hello everyone, welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about GPS receivers and its codes. Okay, so GPS satellites generally transmit signals using pseudo random sequence. Okay, so in short, we call them as PN code. Okay, so all satellites which transmit C by A code at the same carrier frequencies, so the frequency will be like 1575 uh, megahertz okay so this will be with respect to l1 band okay using bpsk modulation okay now the p code so this p code is transmitted using the same modulation bpsk okay but with l2 carrier frequency so this particular frequency will be like 1227 megahertz okay and the C by A codes are transmitted by the GPS satellites. Okay. And these codes we consider it as 1020 or 23 or 1023 bit gold codes. Okay. So these 1023 bit gold codes are formed from two things. Okay. So what are those two 1023 bit in sequences, which are called as G1 and G2. Okay. So, uh, how means these G1 and G2 are multiplied together. Okay. These G1 and G2 sequences are multiplied together with different time offsets. Okay. Now, an M sequence is considered, which is a maximum length pseudo random PN sequence, which is very much easy to generate shift register and feedback taps okay what are these shift registers we are going to see in the diagrams as well okay so this is uh, a signal generation in a gps satellite this is a basic uh, block diagram here we can see so this is an l1 band with respect to 1575 megahertz of frequency and this is l2 with respect to 1227 megahertz of frequency here we have two codes so one is C by A code and the P code, okay, pseudo or random code, okay. So this will be uh, combined with a navigation message, okay, using some multipliers, okay. So here it will be some will be uh, summation and some will be multiplied here. All the bit will be coming with respect to L as an L1 out as one as an L2 out. Okay. So here, what we are considering is two frequencies with respect to L1 and L2 and one message, which we are considering it as navigation message and two codes. One is C by A code. Another one is P code. Okay. All these are multiplied as well as summation. And with respect to L1, we will be obtaining one output. And with respect to L2, L2 we will be obtaining some other output. Okay. So this L1 and L2 will be having uh, with respect to the navigation message as well as the code C by L1 uh, for L1 it will be a C by A code combination for L2 it will be an uh, P code pseudo code combination okay see now this is the C by A code generated it uh, just uses a uh, shift registers okay in order to uh, frame this particular clock frequencies or to generate a C by A code. Okay. So the bit pattern is set by the feedback taps and combining logic of the shift registers. Okay. So we will be having some sort of uh, shift registers as well as, okay, feedback uh, taps, or we can also consider them as feedbacks. Okay. So Using this, we are able to generate a bit patterns. Okay. So the PN sequences G1 and G2 are both generated by the 10 bit shift registers. Okay. Here we are using 10 bit shift registers. So this is one which is for G1 and this is another one which is for G2. Okay. So one is for G1 shift registers and another one is for G2 shift register. Okay. So the PN sequences G1 and G2, which uh, are both generated by 10-bit uh, shift registers, okay? And uh, this particular shift register will be somewhere around 1023 bit long, okay? 
and the clock rate for the C by A code. What we are generating here, C by A code, right? And the clock rate for C by A code is 1.023 megahertz. Okay, so is that each and every sequence will be one millisecond. Okay, so this is the uh, C by A code generator uh, using a shift registers.